I am frequently asked, is humor a good way to deal with conflict? And the answer is yes and no. Because we are all so nuanced in terms of how we receive and interpret humor. So in this video, I'm going to share with you three insights and one story that's actually on me. So I'm Karen Valencic. I am the author and founder of Spiral Impact, The Power to Get It Done with Grace. And I've been working with leaders and teams for over three decades in the areas of conflict mastery, collaboration, and innovation. Okay, so insight number one, a sense of humor is always a good thing to bring to conflict. And this is just the state of being that we're in is a sense of humor. And actually Gandhi was quoted as saying, if I had no sense of humor, I would have long ago committed suicide. That was kind of startling for me to hear from Gandhi, but a sense of humor allows you to be able to see solutions, to respect. It's a, it's a good thing, even if there's not conflict. And in my larger program, I teach a concept called centering that comes from my martial arts, which is all about how do we become calm and energized at the same time. And humor, a sense of humor, is in that category, I believe. So it allows us to have perspective and be able to see things and think of things on our feet that we can't if we're all engaged in the conflict. Insight number two, well done humor can really do wonders for cutting through tension and transforming things and, and making things a little bit lighter so we can have a conversation. The tricky part is when I said well done humor. You know, just like a comedian might think a joke is going to be really funny, but it lands flat. So it's really hard to train people how to do that. There's other effective ways of shifting tension. However, humor can be it. The only advice I would give you in that is be sure the humor is more global around the issue and it's not about the people or the person that's involved in it so that people can't get defensive about that. So keeping it global. And I would love to hear your success stories or your failures when you've tried to do that. So insight number three, humor can cause conflict when there's no conflict to start out with. Oftentimes we might read somebody wrong or say something that's humorous that other people don't take very funny. Particularly if you're dealing with a person that has been um, treated with humor in a passive aggressive way, which happens frequently, um, that person may not find your humor very funny. So be wary of that. And I love this quote from Will Rogers, never miss a good chance to shut up. <laughs> he answered that way when he was asked about knowing when your humor goes too far. So I think those are all really great insights. I told you I'd share a story. And this is kind of a simple, kind of almost everyday story that probably happens a lot. So it was January. I was cold. I turned my furnace up higher than I ever have before. I wore all kinds of warm clothes. I was still cold. So I took my temperature with multiple thermometers and the, the readings were all below 95 degrees. And that was kind of concerning to me. So I called my doctor and she had me come in. I met with her new PA. And the PA had a person that was rounding with her and I was sharing with her what was going on with me. And she made light of my experience and my thermometers. And I felt like she didn't believe me what my experience was. But of course, when I was in there, my temperature had come up to still low, but not as low as it was. Of course, it was late afternoon. That's more information than you need. But she made light and humor around my situation. And now, I did not have a sense of humor with me that day, and I didn't find it funny. I actually found it quite offensive. I will definitely give her another chance, but I, I bring that story up because it's one of those things when somebody has something that's serious, again, make light of the, situ the situation globally. Um, don't make light of the person 
who's actually affected by that. I would love to hear your experiences with humor and conflict, your successes and your failures, uh, so we can all learn from each other. If you have found this valuable, hey, like it, subscribe, and I'd love to hear from you. So thanks for tuning in, and until next time, thank you very much. Bye-bye.